Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about diffusion policy. A lot of confusion about diffusion out there. So let's kind of give you some ideas about the basics of it. So diffusion, really it's a technology to make, put that in quotes, small room sound larger. Because there's no way an acoustical tool can increase the size of a room physically. So how does it work? How does it have the impact that it does? And it's a huge impact. Those of you that have never been in a room with, with diffusion, you're really missing out if, you know, you like this kind of stuff. Because diffusion is, like I always say, the chocolate syrup on the ice cream, or it's the whipped cream. It's the extra that really makes the whole thing, you know, work well together. So it's obviously in the science of psychoacoustics. It's more about auditory perception, how we perceive what we hear. And the tools that we use in the room help with that perception. And we can create the perception that we want to see. We have those kind of tools. Hard part is figuring out what you want. Everybody deep down knows what they like and what they want. They just don't know how to translate it, put it into words. And that's what's critical. That's why I do all these videos, to kind of give you the nomenclature to work with so you can get to what you really want in a room, right? So it's really about non-localization of reflected energies. You close your eyes and you walk to, towards a wall and you keep speaking. You'll eventually stop before you hit that wall because of the reflections off the wall will help you with localization, distance. I always tell the story of our studio in California where we had nine foot ceilings and we used to blindfold people all the time, put them in the studio, play two or three songs for them, and then ask them to guess how high the ceiling was. What was nine foot? Typical guesses was 12, 13, 14. We had even one at 15. And that's what diffusion does. It kind of takes a large reflection and reduces it to a series of smaller ones, which makes it more difficult for our brain to localize distance. And there's technical reasons why that, but suffice it to say that we, we can do that. Quadratic is the only one true diffusion technology. It's predictable and consistent in response. It has a frequency response, just like a speaker. So you know what you can do with that frequency response in the room. Well, some do. So. Frequency response is predetermined, usually in the 250 to 3500 range. That's where quadratic works. Because then they just get too big. The diffusers get too deep. If you're going to diffuse 100 hertz energy, the diffuser has to be 36 inches deep. Well, that's not practical. Our diffusers, our most popular diffuser, the 13, it's 12 inches deep. So you got to give up 12 inches to get the diffusion on that surface area. It's a lot of distance in small rooms. It's a middle range treatment tool. That's what it is. It's not for base. It's middle range. And that's where we need the spatiality. So it's distant dependent for your ears to the source. So if you have a diffuser here on this wall and you're sitting here, the distance is critical. Because the lowest frequency, let's call it 250 hertz, must have enough distance to complete a full wave cycle before it strikes your ears. If you don't have the distance, then the lowest octave band can't fully form and you get phase. And you don't want that. We're trying to get resolution, not phase, right? So it's the ear distance to the lowest octave band. That's what the distance is factored in there. So 250, what, about five feet. So that's what you would need there. So these are some outlines, some important points about diffusion, the process, the tool, and the technology. Diffusion policy. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum 
and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.